we continue looking at relations, functions and graphs. Now we will look at the function and what is meant by one-to-one -one relation as well as repeat some of the terms that we have used in earlier video where we looked at relations. Now, what is a function? Well, according to Mathematics A Complete Course by Raymond Tulsi, second edition, a function is defined as a relation in which each element in the domain is mapped onto one and only one element in the range. Each element in the domain is mapped onto one and only one element in the range. Now, let's look at an example. Suppose I have x is mapped onto 2x plus 4. Now that's one way of writing a mapping. Now, another way of writing a mapping is in this way. Of writing a function being mapped. F of x is equal to 2x plus 4. Now, this is somewhat similar to the form y is equal to 2x plus 4. But instead of saying y now, we we'll just use f of x. The f of x could have been g of x, could have been h of x, or other letters of x. But f is a popular number for us to use. Now, let us put in some values for the domain. 1, 2, 5, 7, 15. Now, what would we have at the range? 2x plus 4 when x is 1. Remember, these are x and these are f of x. Domain, range. The range is f of x. When x is 1, 2 times 1 plus 4 is equal to 6. So we have 6 here. When x is 2, 2 times 2 Remember, x is 2, 2 times 2 plus 4 is, will give you 8. 4 plus 4 is 8. This is 4 plus 4. That's 8, right? Let me just put my x in a different letter here, in a different color here. So you can easily see the x that I'm calculating, all right? When x is 5, then you have, when x is 5, then f of x is equal to 2 times 5. x is 5 plus 4 which will give you 10 plus 4, which is 14. So, 5 will be mapped onto 14. So what we have so far, 1 is mapped to 6, 2 is mapped to 8, 5 is mapped onto 14, what about 7? Let's look at what happens when x is equal to 7. x equals 7 then f of x is equal to 2 times 7 which is the x 
plus 4, 2 times x plus 4, 2 times 7 plus 4, because x is now 7, which is 2 7, 14 plus 4 will give you 18. So 7 is mapped onto 18. Remember, this was 15. Let me write it properly. Now, when x is equal to 15, x is 15, then f of x is equal to 2 times 15 plus 4. 2 times 15 is 30. 30 plus 4 is 34. So we have 34 here and 15 is mapped onto 34. Now we see that each element in the domain is mapped onto one and only one element in the range. Now let us look at another example. Let's erase these first. We want another example. Suppose we have f of x is equal to x squared. We're going to square x this time. We can have some values of x. We can have, let's say, 1, 2, 3, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. These are values of x. And these will be values of x squared, which is f of x. So that's f of x. Now, let's see what will happen. When x is 1, When x is equal to 1, f of x will become f of 1 because x is 1. And what you have is 1 squared is equal to 1 times 1, which is 1, because 1 multiplied by 1 is 1. So we have 1 in the, in the range. Now, let's see what happens when x is 2. We have 2 for our x here. Now, instead of writing back, instead of writing f of x again, we have f of 2. So what we have is 2 squared and what we get 2 squared is 4 so we have 4 over here and just like how 1 was mapped onto 1 here 2 is mapped onto 4 now when x is 3 x is 3 in this case so, f of 3, or x, f of 3 is equal to 3 squared. So we have our 3 squared. What is 3 squared? It's 9. So we have 9 in the range, and 3 is mapped onto 9. Nice, you see that? Now, what about when x is negative 3? f of negative 3 
would be equal to what is negative 3 squared? It's negative 3 times negative 3. Negative 3 multiplied by negative 3. And what you have is 9. Now at this point, some persons might try with a calculator and they type in negative and then 3 and square and what they get is negative 9 on the calculator. The calculator is, that calculator is programmed to say negative 3 and then the 3 squared and it negatives that because negative means the same as negative 1 multiplied by 3 squared so that's what the calculator did so you have to be careful when using a calculator to get the correct answer for that what you will do is open bracket negative 3 close bracket squared that's on the calculator all right all right continuing this negative 3 by negative 3 gives you negative 9 I mean gives you a positive 9 all right what why should I write 9 here 9 is there already if I write 9 here it wouldn't be necessary all right we already have a 9 so we mapped we mapped negative 3 onto 9 let us see what happens when x is negative 2 we have f of negative 2 is equal to negative 2 squared which is negative 2 times negative 2 all right negative 2 multiplied by negative 2 and that gives us positive 4 negative 2 is mapped onto sometimes you see these dots appearing they appear by error because of the drawing tablet that I'm using now I have negative 2 being mapped onto 4 but the thing is 4 is there already so I can map negative 2 onto 4 now what about negative 1 you do the calculation for negative 1 now and what you will find is that negative 1 is mapped onto 1 because negative 1 square is 1 now what you have is each value in the domain is mapped to one and only one value in the range so it is a function it's still a one-to-one -one mapping all right now as to whether it's a function you can try and remember it like this in a case where you have an election you might have in a small election you're choosing someone whether a class representative or someone to chair a committee or a club you can have what you can have five persons there right a b c d all right four persons there running for office and the voters one two three four person one vote for a person two vote for b person three vote for c person four vote for d no problem one person vote for for one candidate so it is a function and it operates like an election now in this case you can have more than one person vote for the same candidate one voted for one and negative one also voted for one no problem right so it is a function and it's like an election that's functioning properly now in the next video we will look at a relation that is not a function but just to introduce it here 
if you have a case like this one two three four a b c d one person one votes for a this is two person two votes for b now you have person two votes for c2 that's a violation that's fraud you cannot vote for two candidates right in a national general election you have to dip your finger in the ink so that when you come back if you come back if you try to come back they will detect it and if they detect if the officials detect that you voted already and you try to return to vote again you go straight to jail you have committed an election fraud you cannot have a one too many vote one person cannot vote for two candidates that's illegal now in that case that is not a function well you can use that to remember what a function really is and the definition of a function but we will look in another video at a, rela at a relation that is not a function so i will see you then